Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we will discuss how to run one way on OI and SPSS. In my previous video, we have already discussed how to run one sample t-test. Basically, we run one sample t-test when we want to compare the sample mean with the population mean. We had also discussed about the independent sample t-test in which we want to compare the means of two different groups. We have also discussed the dependent sample t-test in which we are comparing the means of the groups before and after the treatment. I'll request all my viewers to kindly refer my previous videos to understand the flow of this lecture series. In this video, we are going to discuss one way ANOVA. Basically, when we want to compare more than two groups, each group having a different identity, we are using one way ANOVA. So you can see that these three groups are different. The null hypothesis is there is no significant difference in marks of more than two groups. Now, let us see how we can do this in SPSS. First of all, let us frame the research hypothesis. For this case study, we are going to use the data, employee data, which is available in samples folder of SPSS. So, here we are having a salary and we are having a job category. Three job categories are there, clerical, custodial and managerial. We run ANOVA whenever the categories are more than two. In this case, we were having only male and female, but here we are having more than two categories, clerical, custodial and managerial. And that's the reason we are running ANOVA. So, first of all, let us frame the research hypothesis. Employees in managerial category are paid more salary in comparison to employees in clerical category. When we will convert this research hypothesis into null hypothesis, it will be there is no significant difference in salary according to the employment category. Now, let us understand what we are comparing in ANO. We are comparing the means of three groups. It is quite likely possible that the significant can be between one pair, two pair or three pairs. So even if the difference, if, even if this difference is significant in one pair, your ANOVA will become significant. So the alternative hypothesis is written here as there is significant difference in at least one pair of job category. It means that Clerical compared with custodial, custodial compared with managerial and clerical compared with managerial. Or in another way, you can write null as mu1 is equal to mu2 is equal to mu3. Alternative can be written as mu1 is, is not equal to mu2 is not equal to mu3 or the difference between them is not equal to zero. Difference between any one of them. So the means of group 1 and 2 not equal to means of group 1 and 3 not equal to means of group 2 and 3. They all are not equal to 0 or any one of them is also not equal to 0. Now how to run this test? For this purpose, I will go in analyze, compare means, one way ANOVA, reset it, I will transfer salary here, I will transfer job category here, I will go in post hoc test, make sure to tick Tucky's test, Continue. Now here we are having two bifurcations. When we assume that the variances of all the groups are equal, we use this test. And we assume that the uh, variances are not equal, then we use the test given below. Continue. Click on options. Make sure that you click on means plot. Continue. Now post hoc test is basically that when your ANOVA becomes significant, we want to compare that the difference between two groups is significant or not, that we will see later on. Click OK. You got the results. First thing which you have to see is this SIG value. I have copied this result in the Word file so that we can interpret it. So as the p-value of F test, so you write down the value of F is 0.00, .00 which is less than 5% level of significance. So we reject null hypothesis, which means that there is significant difference in salary in at least one pair of job category. A difference is, as the difference is significant, we have to go for post hoc test. It is very clearly giving us the indication that at least one pair, the difference is large. This means that 
say for example this is clerical this is custodial this is managerial mean of clerical with mean of custodial mean of custodial with mean of managerial is compared if the difference is large even between one pair your ANOVA will become significant so in case of post hoc test we are trying to find out which pair is significant okay so you had got the post hoc result now I copied this result in the word file. You will have to see the SIG value here of the pairs. So in first row, clerical is compared with custodial and their SIG value. So the mean of clerical minus mean of custodial, the difference is minus $3,100. Is it significant? No, because the p-value is more than 0.05. In second case, clerical is compared with the managerial and the difference between the two means of this, uh, that is a mean of clerical and the mean of managerial, their salary, if I take, it's minus $36,000, which is very large and it is also significant as it is 0 0.00. Now, clerical compared with custodial and custodial compared with clerical, clerical is one and the same, only the negative sign will be replaced by the positive sign. So, how will write the interpretation? As the p-value of clerical to custodial is 0.277, the first row, which is more than 5% level of significance. So, we fail to reject null hypothesis, which means that there is no significant difference in salary of clerical and custodial. Now, let us compare the second pair, clerical with managerial. As the p-value of the pair clerical to managerial is 0, 0.00 the second second row which is less than five percent level of significance so we reject null hypothesis which means that there is a significant difference in salary of clerical and managerial this can be further confirmed by the means plot you can see that the difference this is a mean mean of clerical mean of custodial and mean of managerial the uh, mean difference is not so large in between clerical and custodial and therefore their p-values are also are also more than 0 0.05 see clerical compared with custodial but the difference between clerical and managerial and custodial and managerial is very large and therefore their p-value will be less than 0 0.05 you can see one clerical with managerial and custodial with managerial their p-values are less than 0 0.05 so this is a post hoc test which, is, which we run after carrying out one way ANOVA. For more videos on SPSS, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please don't forget to press the like button. You can don't forget to subscribe the channel also. Thank you.